Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 33. Inside this video, we are going to see all about delete operation. Inside last video, if I back to browser, this is the listing what we have created. All the data from students table we have rendered into a layout. If I back to editor, this is the layout and inside this layout we had sent a student's key. Inside this student's key we have all the data what we are fetching by the help of this model. Now inside this video, let's say that we will create a delete button. While clicking on that delete button, we are going to delete that respective row. So first of all, we need to create a delete layout. Back to editor. Go inside this layout. Let's say that we are going to make another TD. And inside this TD, we have an anchor tag. Inside this anchor tag, let's say delete. And in the last video, as we know that we have imported some bootstrap libraries. So that's why I'm going to use some bootstrap classes of button. So let's say class. btn btn and let's say primary. Now if I save these changes back to browser, reload this page and one more thing this is the TD what we have defined but actually inside this header section also we need to add a header. So let's say th. Here I'm going to write action. Save these changes. Go and reload this page and as we can see that inside this layout we are getting a delete button. The first thing we had done with the layout. Now in the next task, let's create few routes on that. Back to editor. Go inside this anchor tag. Let's create href. So here I'm going to write the href attribute and inside this we need to create our delete route. So what I will do and inside this href let's say we have delete and after delete we want all about the delete id. So we are listing students and as we know that this is the primary key what we are getting. So on the behalf of this id we are going to delete that respective student. So if I copy this, go here, putting it here. So what basically we are getting simply when we click on this anchor tag we will get delete and this is all about delete id. Now if you save go and reload this page. So when we click on any of the delete button, now we have a delete at the URL and here we have the student ID. Right now it is 404 but soon we will create the delete route. Again if we click on any of the button, we are getting all about the delete and here we have the delete ID. So on the basis of this ID, we will make a model based query which will go inside this students table and on the basis of this id it will delete that. So back to the page, editor. So back to web.php first of all we need to create that. So here let's say that delete route route it will be a get method and inside this we have delete. After that as we know that here we have the id. So we need to receive also the parameter as well. Go here and let's say that I am passing id here. Now in the next we need to bind with the controller. So we have a student controller and inside this student controller first of all it's a class and let's say that inside this will make a method so delete student. Now if we save, copy this action name or method name back to controller. Let's say delete method public function. Here we have delete student and inside this delete student as we know we are passing a student id. 
so let's say that a student underscore id go inside this and by the help of model we are going to delete that so let's say student equal to here we have the model student what we have loaded at the top of this controller and this student model basically represents all about our students table now if I scroll down so here we have a student and by the help of this student we are going to call a find method this find method basically finds a data by the help of a specified primary key so inside this find method we are going to pass a student ID keep in mind this student ID we are getting at URL after that by the help of this variable we are going to delete that so let's say student and simply we are going to call delete method so successfully by the help of these two lines we have find data and successfully deleted that now in the next task let's say that we are going to redirect on the same page list student but this time with a success message so what i will do keep in mind already we have done a session class so the same concept we need to use that if i scroll to top go inside this delete student method and let's say that session here we'll use a flash method in the first we need to pass a key so let's say success and inside the message section let's say that a student has been deleted successfully and finally we need to redirect so let's return redirect and inside this redirect simply we need to pass the redirect URL so back to web.php and this is the route what we want after delete so copy that and pasting it here now go to the list students our template page and inside this page we need to receive the success message means we want to receive the flash message so go here let's say that first of all we need to use our if directive to check that if session flash has a data or not so let's say if and to end as well so let's end f so session has and inside this i'm to pass the key name so it is going to check that inside the session we have a flash message with the key success if it has then simply we are going to print that so let's div we are going to use some bootstrap classes so deep class alert let's say alert and success and inside this simply we are going to print our message so session and inside this session let's pass our key name so save all these changes back to browser go to our list page if i reload this page one more time and let's say that right now inside this data table we have total of 500 entries now i'm going to click on this first data so click on delete button and student has been deleted successfully now if i scroll down and here we have the data equals to 499 again if i go and delete this second number id successfully we have deleted that so inside this video guys successfully we have covered all about delete operation so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day